All right, we're going to begin our three digit subtraction. Okay. We have 838. We are subtracting 384. Before we write our other number, we are going to draw our place value lines to make sure we line everything up perfectly. We are subtracting 384. Draw your totals line. All right. We always begin in the ones place. So in the ones place, if I have eight minus four, if I put eight fingers up, am I able to put four yes. fingers down? Yes. yes. So what would my answer be? Four. 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 If I have eight ones and I take four ones away, I am left with four ones. We are done with the ones place. Let's look at the tens place. In the tens place, I have three tens minus eight tens. If I put three fingers up, am I able to put eight fingers down? No. So I have to do what? Borrow. I have to borrow. Borrow. All right. I go to the hundreds place. I have eight hundreds. If I borrow one hundred, what does that leave me with? Seven. Seven hundreds. If I take that hundred and I turn it into ten tens, and I add my ten tens to my three tens, what have I got? Thirteen. Thirteen tens. I no longer have three. I have 13. All right, if I have 13 tens and I take eight tens away from it, what does that leave me with? Five. Five tens. Okay, I am now done with the tens plate. And I move on to the hundreds plate. I no longer have eight hundreds. I borrowed one. I have seven hundreds. If I put seven fingers up, am I able to put three fingers down? Yes. Yes. And what does that leave me with? Four. Four. Four hundred. So I have four hundred fifty-four. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a star next to my answer. What is my answer? Four hundred fifty-four. Four hundred fifty-four. All right, now I'm going to look at my original equation. My original equation is 838 minus 384. Of those two numbers, which one is less than the other? 384, and I'm gonna put a star next to that number. Now I've got my two smallest numbers, that need to equal my largest number. So we're going to check our problem. We're going to take the two smallest numbers and combine them. If we combine numbers, are we adding or subtracting? Adding. adding. So we're going to take 384 and we're going to add it Draw your place value line so you know you line everything up proper. And we're going to add it to 454. We've taken both our numbers that we put a star next to. And draw your totals line. We're going to focus just on the ones place. In the ones place, I have four ones plus four ones. What will that give me? Eight. Eight ones. We are now done with the ones place. We're going to focus just on the tens place. I have eight tens 
plus five tenths. What does that equal? Thirteen tenths. And is thirteen single digit or double digit number? Double. Can I write thirteen right here? No. no. I can put my three here, but I must carry my one to the hundreds place. All right, I am done with the tens place. We're going to focus just on the hundreds place. If I have 400 and I add 300 to that, what does that give me? Eight. Nope, I have 400 and I'm adding 300 to it. 700. If I have 700 and I add one more, what have I got? 800. Okay, guys. Let's look back at our original equation. What was my largest number? And when I checked it, did I get that number? Yes. And when our numbers match, we are? 